Okay, let's actually click a button in the game. So we've got some stuff on him already. Yangus has some stuff. Let's go through our bag. You're going to see a lot of items. We'll talk about all of them at some point, but for the start here, what we're looking for is Golden Gar, a lavish but lowly lance made of pure gold. We are going to be using that. Honking Hammer. Amusing Mallet manages to lower its target's defense sometimes. Squeakily. Yangus is going to use that. Ugh. The candy? Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ugh. <clears throat> I just drank a bunch of chocolate milk. <clears throat> I, uh, I feel and sound gross. Nobody should drink that much chocolate milk that quickly. Gross. Um, the candy cane. This is one of the whole reasons I wanted to do all of this. A strange sickle that guarantees exactly one point of damage is done. Um, should just stop there, but whatever. Uh, metal slime platter. We want this as well. A tray made of tough metal that can withstand five points of damage from enemy spells. Let's go into Yangus. Um, we'll do the Healy Hat. A uh, Hardy Ring, we're going to wait on that. Healy t-shirt. That's going to Yangus as well. What are you fishing for? If you don't mind me asking. <clears throat> okay. So what is he missing? A hat. We can get a hat in the cave. Okay, so we are in town during the daytime. Oh, yeah, so but not a lot, I don't know what it's called, but not a lot of people actually know that. Um, it takes about five minutes for the bar to hit about halfway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, if you're on speed up, I can actually see that happening. Oh my god, you're fishing on speed up? I bet the fish do feel terrifying. Oh, good luck. Kaji fishing, the one thing I can explain to you in Kaji fishing though, is if it ever feels like you have a really big fish and then it's like really short, what most likely happened, and I'm trying to, like, it's a little early for me, it's 7.45. So, like, I'm trying to, trying to remember everything. So, for Kaji, and I might have told you about this, but for Kaji, a 100 centimeter Kaji can be anywhere from 275 to 375 FP, which is quite a range. And then, like, a 275 FP Kaji could be a hundred centimeters to like 75 centimeters so like there no matter what you're doing you're pretty much getting screwed some way it's very rare to catch a fish at the top of its category and even if you do catch a fish at the top of its category it's probably not doing the best of its other category um For instance, my record setting 187 was shockingly 522 FP. And you hear that and you're like, well, wait, no, that makes sense though. But my second place fish is 179 centimeters, 614 FP. Ugh. 
I used to, yeah. Well, actually, not really. I did for a very short window of time. Um, and then I kind of just... I, I guess I'm on the outside of this, but I just kind of don't vibe with the new 3D. I've tried really hard to enjoy it, but I just don't like the way it looks. And it's kind of pushed me away, because I guess it makes me an old man. I've been called a Gen 1-er, even though I don't play Gen 1 games. And I honestly, I don't even know if I have like a, like a favorite older generation. Um, like, obviously, I, I prefer Heart Gold Soul Silver. Like, everybody, I thought, because it has the Pokemon follow you. And then Gen 5 probably is my favorite to do ROMs for, just because it has, like, I think the best moving sprites, in my opinion. I apologize to any Dragon Quest Eight fans who are listening to this and wondering why I'm not talking about this game at all. It's because I've done this exact start four times this morning now. Or no, three times this morning. Um, this is the fourth time overall. There's also a lot to explain that I'm doing. Alright, we're gonna go hit this little strip, because there's some barrels and a, uh, one last door. Now, yeah, I've been needing to check a lot of those out. I was literally... I'm slowly getting back into the Pokemon hunting mood. I found... I hate even talking about it. I found probably the funniest trainer ID of all time. But I didn't keep it because it felt kind of childish. And I was like, you know what? If I'm going to be posting videos of me, like, hunting shiny Pokemon and doing trainer IDs with, like, my name and stuff like that... I don't want to be associated with, like, goofy, childish things. And I deleted the trainer ID after I got it, and then, like, I was talking to somebody else about it, and they were like, are you kidding me? That's the funniest thing ever. You still have it, right? And I was like, no, I, like, why would I want to be associated with that? And they were like, oh, like, whatever. And I was just like, I thought about it, and I was just like, oh my god, that is hilarious. Like, why would I get rid of that? But... What can you do? But I'm finally getting back into it. Okay, I hate skipping this cutscene. It's a unique one. I am a superstitious creature. I believe hitting certain cutscenes and triggers makes your game luckier. Does it actually? No, probably not. But I believe in it. I'm sorry, but I've got a business to run. Is it, uh, yeah, it was just... So, it was 666... Six, er, no, it was 426666. Um, and it was just like, okay, like that. that is funny, but like... 102... Oh, not bad. You, honestly? <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, excuse me. I think over the last month that I've watched probably five or six people fish, that is the second 100 centimeter fish I have heard of or seen somebody catch. 10216. Are you on bait or lure rod? That's bait rod. That's gotta be bait rod. So if you ever want to know what your fish is lure rod wise, which is usually how I talk, I apologize that I do that. Um, just double the stats. So that'd be, that's a 102, 132. That's a handsome Kaji actually. Or no, it'd be bigger than that. Um, so that I can't do math and sorry. Um, no, that'd be not 300. No, it would be 300. Yeah, no, that's that's a handsome Kaji. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. So, 
yeah, if you ever want to know what your fish on a bait rod would be on a lure rod, which is, I apologize, I never specified this, which is how I talk most of the time, you just double it. So we're going to talk to the great Kaladarasha. Uh, only the FP. So there's a rumor that the lure rod catches bigger fish, but there is no proof of that. The only proof is that I caught a bigger fish than the other guy who used to catch bigger fish. But yeah, it's just FP, and it's only... Aesthetically, I guess? Because the fish don't actually weigh more. They just have a higher multiplier. And we believe the reason for that is to help you catch the lure rod up to where you had your fishing rod. Or it's because the lure rod makes it feel like the fish are heavier too. Because it is a little bit easier to lose fish on the lure rod at first. Um, oh wait, we gotta go hit the church. That feels... That actually is, yeah, we're, we're going for a recipe for a thief's key at night. That is kind of bad. Um, but, like, once you get the lure rod's resilience all the way to max, and then you do the strength, it's actually easier to catch fish on the lure rod than it is the uh, fishing rod. I just outright think the lure rod's better. That's just my opinion. Once I figured out how to shake it, the only thing that is wrong with the lure rod is that you question yourself sometimes because you just don't catch fish. Because that's the difference. The lure rod determines if you catch a fish or not as soon as the bobber hits the water. Whereas the bait rod, you're sitting there waiting for like random dice rolls. That's fair. <clears throat> I just shake it for eight seconds. I wait two sec- two and a half seconds. Um, you can wait three seconds, there's nothing wrong with that. And then shake it again. Oh, nice. That was, like, that's what really made me, like, get into fishing, was I got my luck to 100, and I caught a 103-centimeter gobbler, and I went looking for trouble. <coughs> um, I literally went to Twitch to, like, find other people to brag to, to, like, <laughs> look at me. And I met somebody named Kevin Not Hell, or Kevin In Hell. And Mackenzie won, and he was doing like a 10 hour stream or something like that of Dark Cloud 2 fishing. And it just, like, it blew me away. Okay, so that should be the town looted. Um, we are going to organize items all. Yes. Very nice. One thing I don't like is that you just can't run down the stairs here. You have to go all the way around. But I think it's to show you something. Um, so anyways, I ran into those uh, guys. And they were basically asking me everything I knew about the game. And they were like, oh, what are your biggest fish? And I was like, mm. <clears throat> 103 centimeter gobbler. Type that into chat. And they were like, oh, that's not bad. Especially for the stats you have. And to say that I was mad was an understatement. I was so fucking like, uh, like fucking fuck you. Like what are you like? What are you talking about? What are you trying to say? And after like ten minutes, they showed me all the fish they'd like collected from different areas and like all the different stat studies they'd done. And I was just like, oh, uh, shit. I don't. What? <coughs> oh god, I should <clears throat> go for a run or something, clear that out. Um anyways, that was god like 6 months ago, 7 months ago now. And now I am the fisherman you see. But yeah, 100 centimeters <clears throat> with less than 100 luck, you're killing it because that's when I got my first one. God, what was that six? When was that? I have a picture posted. I can tell you exactly when I caught that gobbler and was like, yeah. And then, like, my world opened up. So, like, 
If you did it with less than a hundred luck, you beat me. What are your? You just wait. What What are your stats? That's a That's a handsome Kaji. What's your resilience at? That probably was a good fight. Thirty ten. Oh yeah, that was a good fight. I bet. A hundred a uh, hundred and three centimeter gobbler, one hundred and thirty eight FP. What did you catch? One sixty eight. Oh my gosh, that was eight months ago. <laughs> Are you ready? I have my stat rod or my my stat rod, my rod stats. Um, flight twelve, strength five, resilience seventy two, grip one, luck one hundred. I, I tell people all the time, like, I don't I don't want to be mean, but, like, I don't think luck helps. You just caught a 100-centimeter fish before I did, apparently, with lower luck. Like, it just... I don't know. It could just... It could be just RNG. But, like, in my experience, like... I don't know, man. I, re I just really don't know. I, I read one time, and I haven't been able to find it since. Oh, we're going to say no here, because I think it's funny. I feel awful now. I, I, why did I think that was funny? Well, uh, I suppose there's no point crying over spilt milk. See, yeah, what I would do... Well, bef before I became a weirdo, I didn't do this. Then once I became a fishing weirdo, what I would do is literally save up, like, 9900 points and then level a stat from basically like one to five or whatever all the way up to a hundred and see if i noticed anything different and then i'd fish the next stat all the way up and i'd do 14 15 hour streams of that and the only stats that i noticed anything truthfully was grip because every time i'd get to grip i'd be like oh god this is gonna be an 18 17 hour stream this is why is this suck and then all of a sudden I'm done at the 14 hour mark and it's like, okay, grip is definitely making fish bite more or be bigger on average because it's cutting time down significantly. But like, I can't prove that until I go back and I actually like compare the fish and stuff. I'm going to be honest with you. I like grinding and stuff, but I don't like Dana, uh, Dana, data analysis. I am fusing my words today. Rylus might be able to help us locate him. But it seems we'll just have to track. But I've tried to like compare the stats a lot. Please tell me you saved and tried each stat and reloaded each. Um so no, but I have leveled up four rods separately from basically like minimum stats to max. So like I've done four like 14 to 16 hour streams. Um, two bait rods, two lure rods. But no, I no, I grinded each rod all the way up, each stat to 100. And truthfully, we don't even know if it matters. <clears throat> this is what I was saying um, before I had this cutscene pop up. Again, apologies to any <clears throat> Dragon Quest Eight fans. I'm sorry to come running after you like but we haven't really done anything either. Um, I read a long time. I need. I should have saved it. I read like months ago this post where somebody was like, "Hey." Did they ever fix the fishing rod glitch where your fish are glitched at 100 stats? And somebody responded and said, <clears throat> probably it was most likely low on the bug list and they never got around to it. And that was it. That was all the conversation was. And I just remember thinking like, what are they talking about? And it's just like, there might actually be something to not like having your stats all the way to 100. And maybe you don't catch the biggest fish possible if all of your stats are 100. But, I mean, like, 
what am I gonna do? Like redo 500 hours of fishing? Possibly, I might have to, but I don't know. But I've started to notice that people do catch giant fish without having all their stats at 100. And I mean, again, it could just be random. Maybe you just have a better chance to do it with all 100s, but... God, it'd be nice if a dev could answer us, which they're not going to after 20-something years. Or if somebody could look at the code, but... I can barely download an emulator, so I'm not going to be able to look at the code anytime soon. <laughs> But no, yeah, I would like, what I would do is I would grind resilience to 100 because I'd be like, okay, I don't, actually, this is a lie. I would grind resilience up every level that I could because I had a fear that a big, like a giant fish would show up and I wouldn't be able to catch it. However, now that I say that out loud, I'm not sure if that ever even came close to transpiring. So you might actually need to keep resilience low. Now that I'm saying it out loud. Which is like counterintuitive. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Alright, so we're gonna go meet up with the fortune teller's daughter. They're back here. Uh, normally, I should have shown you, but normally when you try this house, it's locked during the day. And I think the first night you try it, <clears throat> it only unlocks when she unlocks it. Which is kind of, you know, a great thing for a dad to do, to have his daughter lock the door when he's not there. But he's also getting slammed at the bar, so... Ah, it goes, it goes ways. Both ways, multi-ways, up and down. He's a fortune teller, so he technically could know she's safe, but... <clears throat> You know, everybody in town would think that, but he also knows that he's a fucking fraud, so. Like, meh. Um. So, I was going to do another fishing stream for my big 24 hour stream attempt. But I think what I'm actually going to do is a fish fusing stream. Because since I hit 196.1, I've kind of lost all my motivation to grow fish anymore or catch big fish. And instead pers uh, pursue my dream of breeding every fish in every color. And then posting that somewhere. So finally, when the like modern person plays Dark Cloud 2, they can see what's available. Because how like, many times have I told you not to touch my crystal ball? I mean, yeah, like that's one thing. Just don't touch a man's crystal ball. But what? Aren't you that boy from the pub? Yep, that's a grounding. Touching the crystal ball and inviting boys from the pub. I do not know what my daughter has asked. I am going to bed. But since I got the 196, and it kind of depresses me, but maybe it's 197 is when the fish grows. But I won't know because my fish won't grow anymore. I'm sorry about my father. But whatever he says, he's the one who's really suffering since he lost his powers. That's why I wanted to ask you this favor. Can you find him a crystal ball? So one that's big enough to bring back his powers? That's so I'm You're gonna fire me up again on this. Really? That's so what normally works. However, I did it twice, and then the third time I did it, he grew. And then the fourth time, and fifth time, and sixth time, I gave up on the sixth, um, I keep getting the message that he won't grow anymore and I need to breed him. But it won't work or do anything. Um, so, like, he won't grow, but I keep getting the message that he needs to be bred, and it's just like, it looks like he's totally soft-locked. Um, I got the seat of defense, right? Yes, okay. I 
I have not tried different baits. That's a great point. Maybe. I have thought, and again, it's just me out there. Um, I have thought about trying, and I've only ever done this with Kaji too, so it only works really for Kaji. I have trot, trot, thought about trying the baits I know that work in like a instead of just like hey here's seven of these and grow seven of these and grow um trying this one this one this one this one does he grow maybe this one this one this one and maybe there's like a pattern to find out i don't know <clears throat> but every time you breed the fish you know its stats go up obviously um so you can feed it less and then at a certain point it was just like He's not growing, and if I breed him again, he's going to be at 406 points, and then he's going to be deleted because he's at too high of stats. In the morning, we leave for the waterfall cave. <laughs> I love that his eyes are just locked on the sky. He's not even looking at me. <clears throat> but... So, yeah, I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's a strategy I need to be trying. Alright, so I guess I could have saved loot. Well, no, we don't want to save looting for now. We want to save all of our daytime shenanigans for now. <clears throat> First and foremost daytime shenanigan is getting up here and saving. Yeah, I'm not really sure what to do, though, but, again, unless he grows at 197, he's still short of 200. <clears throat> and I've got to get him to grow three more times, so. I mean, I'm hopeful, but I just don't see it happening. Hit me up. Oh, wait. New, new record. We're having a day. 112 Kaji, keep it up. 170, okay. <clears throat> yeah. That's hand yeah, that's like a that's <clears throat> interesting. I was just saying that I don't see anybody else catch fish along my line. Um 30, 10, 10, 10, 10. Honestly, I've said this. I don't know who I was saying this to. But I feel like 30 is honestly a good stopping point for stats. <clears throat> That's weird. Good stuff, though. I will tell you, 150, 500 is like the, oh shit, I've got like a big fish. And if I, if I look away or check, check chat, I could lose it. <clears throat> 15500 is ridiculous. 15500 will win you every round of the fishing contest all the way up to the point where it keeps uh repeating. I'm cheating in the safety way. I mean go for it. Um I mean that's smart. I um one reason I honestly stopped fishing was because I was afraid I might hook the perfect fish and lose it. Um, a 15500 at max stats can shake off your rod if you accidentally wiggle the rod twice. If you accidentally wiggle the rod twice, the fish is gone. It's kind of crazy. I mean, I wouldn't even judge you. It's one of those things that, like, it's hard to explain to people until, like, it happens, but, like, they're so big that, like, if you shake the rod as soon as you catch the fish and hit X, like, make two mistakes, the fish is gone. Like, it's, it's almost sick how difficult the fish are to catch. It's kind of crazy, but, like, I love it. I actually, I have a clip of it. Um, and the only reason the fish isn't gone is because I had max stats. Oh, please tell me. You are slay- 
wait. Oh god, I was like, wait. I was like, that still could be big, wait. And I was like, millimeters. I was like, he's messing with me, but... Like, what are we... 23, uh... Centimeters is actually minimum record I've seen for a fish like that. That's that's minimum record. I don't think I 23 for uh Bon and Tartan. That's good. What was the FP on that? If the FP was less than 20, that's incredible. Also, I don't know if you knew this, but Evies are actually, like, the best bait to use on the bait rod. I don't know if you knew that, but, like, nice. Um, Evies will cut out Hama Hama, which aren't the greatest fish. I mean, they're personally, I love Hama Hamas. Um, but the biggest Hama Hama on record is 129 centimeters. So, like, oh, and sorry if I'm spoiling things for you. I didn't even think about that. I just kind of talk about whatever. Uh, where'd that hat go? Um, but Evie specifically cuts out the Hama Hama. Again, I love the Hama Hama. I think they're great looking. Super fun. But I think the Bobo gets bigger than the Hama Hama. And the Evie allows for Bon, Tartan, Bobo, and Kaji with Bobo and Kaji being the two best fish. Hilariously, Bobos are rarer than Kaji in my experience. Um, but theoretically, the limit for Bobo goes all the way up into the 130s, potentially 140s. Um, because the record for length, I think, is 125 centimeters. But I once caught a 106 centimeter, 136 FP. And Bobos kind of follow a one-to-one, -one, so it's possible. Oh, you're mostly getting... So that's good. That's a good sign. My Bobo... That's not bad. Um, Again, mine's, I think... It's like one... One twelve... One... 108 or something like that and then 106 136 when you get into catching like records it honestly becomes a challenge of like i love that he has voice acting in the 3ds like why does he have voice acting in the 3ds version i love that Um, but it becomes like, can you be proud that you caught, like, a giant fish of just this length, or just this weight? Um, because it's so rare that you catch a giant of length and weight. It's just, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Again... I was just saying, if you, like, if you want, like, the, oh, shit, like, I've caught, like, a big fish, like, proud to post it, and people will be like, oh, fuck, like, that's a big fucking fish. Um, 15500 is, like, the line. But, like I was saying earlier, my biggest fish is a 187 522. So, like, my 187 very easily could have been 30 centimeters shorter. Easily. I just got insanely lucky. And then on the flip side, my 179, 614, could have been way longer. But it wasn't. What do you think? Brave enough? I am brave enough. Really? I once spent... You are brave. That means you I don't know. I don't, I'm not that brave. I had inside all day. Hmm. I'm afraid of calling in pizzas. If it wasn't for the fact that you already have a good-looking Nonki-colored fish, um, I would say use that Bobo to try and get some uh, color worked into your fish. That's a good length, but 
Oh wait, no, are you... You're in like 90-something, so how long is your gummy? I was actually looking at my uh, fish chart last night, trying to figure out how I could get a hold of a gummy through fish breeding with a nonkey. It would be difficult to get your stats exactly the same, like the centimeter-wise, because it's down to the decimal. Weight would be almost impossible. I could try to get the same weight of your fish, but... I, I think I could get a very similar version of your fish. Oh yeah, it is 93 centimeters, so yeah. Um... <clears throat> So my plan was basically to just use a really long nonkey, and then what, I can't remember what fish it was, and I was just going to breed it with a wild caught other fish, and then just, you know, use the yellow gummy that I get from that and feed it a bunch of uh, food. It's on, I, I don't know how hard it is to find online. It's online, um, but I could send you a picture of the fish chart if you're actually interested in trying to get a fish. Um, however, I'll say if you're actually interested in trying to get a long fish, it's better to just keep catching long fish and breeding them onto the fish you have rather than trying to aim for one because it's easier at the end to go for the fish you want rather than like trying to maintain the fish because some of the combinations just don't make any sense and like they're really hard to get back to <clears throat> so yeah that's okay i was gonna say that as well because some of the fish you think you're really gonna like and then when you see it with the color you have you don't like it at all but like you don't want to change colors so you try a different fish um All right, so let's go into our bag. We got our butts whooped last time. However, I equipped new shields. We have new shields. Um, I think I'm just gonna do this. We got whooped last time. I think we could have won if we had the shields. But let's just try it. Um, I feel so bad. There's this streamer I watch named Lo-Fi. Uh, Lo-Fi Lady. And she spent all day breeding up this Nonki and getting the colors right and all this other stuff. And when she finally bred it, she was so excited and it came out red and she looked at it and you could like hear it in her voice that she was like oh it's not as red as i thought it would be and it was just like damn like that sucks like i didn't want to say anything but that's exactly what my reaction was which is why i have a blue nonkey <laughs> i think blue's the best looking color on it um but there's like other, like as you saw on my screen, there's other fish that you would never expect that look really cool. Like the Niler. The Niler is one of my favorite fish. Um, he looks so cool when he's giant. But you wouldn't know that if you didn't try all the different fish. Oh, does he say fall water after at the fight? Okay, possibly. But, yeah, no, it's a lot of fun, actually, when you get into the breeding and color stuff, because it's just, like... I don't know, it's all new. It Like I was saying earlier, like, it puts your glasses... It's not even rose-tinted colored glasses. Rose-colored tinted glasses. I think that's right. Um... All right, so I think we do attack, defend.
Oh, could I have actually gotten my attack off? Okay, good hit, good hit. Oh, I didn't equip any healing, dude. I forgot to do that again. We'll see if we can beat him. We might be able to beat him just outright. Oh, I should have blocked with the Angus. I didn't know if he'd outspeed or not. All right, well, we lost one turn with the... Oh, he... Yangus got the immediate... Okay, so that sucks for me. Hopefully he hits Yangus. Okay. That was big. Nice. Big! Woo! Oh, okay, so it actually took all of that. Okay, so it took all... It took duplicating almost all of the available DLC gear I had. Ooh, yellow Hamahamas are fun. So, if you breed a big Hamahama, they're kind of fun, but I, the way they swim... Oh my gosh. Um, oh, you could do a good... But what's the... Banana Mama? Banana Mama? Banana... Banana Hama. Banana Hama Mama? Banana Hama Mama? Banana Hama Mama. Am I crazy? Is that good? Banana Hama Mama? That's, a that's not a bad name. Oh! Uh What am I going to use? I think I you can save them in this game. So apparently I could beat Calamari at level 1 with Hero, but I don't think I'm going to bother. Are these just slurs? <laughs> no. What? You don't know. You're not the true owner of this crystal ball. I'm trying to come up with good the names for your new Hama Hama. So strong. Um. Strong enough to withstand my fearsome might. You are no fortune teller. Wait. Could you be? Waterfall rears many humors, you know. I hear that a castle called Prodent. You heard correctly. Oh god, I forgot about this. And there's a cutscene? Yeah. Alright. Um. No, surprisingly, some of the biggest fish, like the fun ones that you'd think are like, oh yeah. Um. Crazy to catch? Not that good. Um, gobblers? You think gobblers would be huge? They're not. Um, Baku Baku? Get big, but only after you breed them up. Donkeys are surprisingly the second largest fish in the game. However, lengthwise, I think they are tied for first. One last thing. Should you bolt for a 
Oh, there it is. So that was cool. We actually did it. I'm like... I was scared. Um, so where's our stuff at? Where are they? Where, where are my shoes? Yep, we're gonna put our slippers back on. And get our gold collection back. Oh yeah, we leveled up so our health is full. I, uh... What was my original aquarium? Before I started breeding my fish, what was my original aquarium? I think it was Kaji, Hamahama, Tartan, Baron, Bobo, Donkey? So normally I would just evac out of here, but I'm not a high enough level. Oh gosh, I apologize. I'm still getting used to these controls. Uh, I just realized I didn't do the quest on the top of the hill. I hope that's not... I hope I didn't miss it. I'd hate to have to restart. Or I wouldn't have to restart. I'd have to just... Well, I'd have to quit out, but... Oh. So if you're just regular playing the game, um, Dancing Devils are actually the best enemy I think you can fight down here. Mecha Mina might be just as good. I would have to check my notes. But I believe those are the two best enemies for gold and item selling. The skippers are really good for getting the bunny tails, but you actually get enough bunny tails in just chests throughout the game to do all the recipes. So you don't technically need to farm those, but they are kind of nice to have, it's fun. God, I hate talking about it because I'm playing Dragon Quest, but it's just the first mission, man. Um, on a modified run so like things are crazy but i haven't actually done anything i've literally just run into the uh dungeon and won but how i did it was kind of cool i can talk about that um so again we are kind of cheating right now we have the golden gar which is a big upgrade nice spear 33 attack right now gold or metal actually you know what Equipped, right? Um, there we go. That's how you rotate them. The metal slime platter, which is the shield I'm rocking now. Great shield. Great shield. I actually I freaking love it. Um, the Healy hat and the Healy t-shirt don't show off, but they're great. Um, the Healy hat gives me MP. The Healy t-shirt heals me. Yangus has the fucking honking hammer, which... I haven't seen it happen, but apparently it can lower defense. He's got the shield to go with it, and then he's also got a t-shirt, but he's got a leather hat on. Um, Yangus has a lot of use for MP, believe that or not. Um, a lot of the time, Yangus ends up being your first healer, because he doesn't learn like Zoom or Evac, um, which are very helpful, like, explorative abilities. If you run out of Chimera Wings, your only way to move around really is Zoom. Or you have to run. And then Evac's your best way out of a dungeon if you have low health. So, Yangus ends up being your, like, out-of-battle healer just because he doesn't have anything else to use his magic on.
Alright, so I'm going to... There we go. We got them to disappear for once. I'm going to run up the hill and see if we can't get the uh, quest. It should be fine. I know it's... I, I don't even know. I've read that it's missable. I would guess that it's missable because I've read that it's a multi-part question. Question. Quest. But honestly, I've never done all the parts to it. Just parts of it. Um, doing this run right now on a PS2, insane. Trying to do a low level run on a PS2 is just absurd. It's no fun. Low level in any game that has random battles is awful. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but the fact that they added the ability to see the monsters in this version, top notch. Oh, he gets voice acting too. That's right. Everybody gets voice acting. I don't often get visitors all the way up here. Well, now that you're here, maybe I could ask you a little favor. Yeah, okay. shoot. I'm only gonna say this once, so clean out your ears and get listening. Um, if you actually ask him a second time, he will cancel the quest. It's kind of annoying. If you go outside and look at the view from the top of the mountain, you should be able to spot a tree with red leaves. Okay. I had a bit of a kip there when I was out the other day, and it seems I left my tool bag behind. I don't expect you to do this for free, of course. I'll be able to give you a small reward. Excellent, that's all I need to hear. I'm waiting here in my hut for you to bring it back. Try not to take too long. <gasps> oh. I just realized I am glad I got an extra one of one of those pendants. Because I was just thinking like, oh, the second boss uses a fire attack. But it's, it's a named fire attack. Like, it's not Sizz or Sizzle or Cuz Sizzle. It's Flame Breath. So I believe one of the pendants I got specifies that it protects against all fire attacks. Which will be what I need. Now, I actually need to fight slimes for a side quest. Which is kind of crazy, but they do have side quests in this game. Um, not in the PS2 version. There's... Uh, there's a lot of differences between the PS2 and 3DS version that make me not like the PS2 version. And I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of really making me enjoy playing with an action replay. And like modifying my 3DS like capabilities. Because as much as I love the 3DS, the 3DS still doesn't have everything. I was just reading where some of these items come from. Never, never in my life would I have been able to get these items unless like I lived in an alternate timeline. And it's just like, that's kind of a bummer. Like, this is a bunch. I'm having like. Not, well, I shouldn't say I'm having a bunch of fun. Um, that fight was a bunch of fun. That boss was that was a nail biter. I can't believe we got that first try technically. Second try. It was second try. Um But man, uh Everybody else. Everybody else who missed out on these items for no reason or because they just didn't know about them and they had the game and Ugh. It's wrong. But, like, I'm finally seeing it. Like. Again, I guess I've never really not seen the value in emulation and action replay and, you know, stuff like that. It's just, my problem lies in the people who are like, you can't enjoy the original because this stuff exists. But, like, I'm seeing why people believe that, but I think that's, like, a, a toxic mentality. Alright, so here's the tool bag. There's the house. Again, PS2 version. 
I mean, sometimes it's a dream. Sometimes it's not a problem at all. 3DS version, I mean, we're just, it's a jog. It's just a jog through the park. Um, see something you don't like? Just turn the screen a little bit. Okay, so it appears that you have to turn the screen a lot a bit. But it still works. Somewhat. Eh, I don't know. I, I, oh, uh, okay, you can outrun these guys if we do well enough. They're a little faster. Oh, yeah, he's a little faster, but... The only thing you can't outrun during the daytime is the uh, bunny corns. And then at night, it's the Drakis. And by the way, this is what I was talking about when I was just like, you're on a timer. Um, so normally, I wouldn't have gone into the... If I was playing the PS2 version of this game... I, maybe I shouldn't have said that, because that's, that's, that's not even a good... If I was playing the PS2 version, I would have run out the other side of town entirely. Because you can get a pair of boxer shorts. We'll probably grab that later. Just for, you know, having in the inventory sake. Um. And then I would have quickly beelined it back to town. And then I would have come up this mountain. To do this quest. And then on the PS2 version specifically. I would sell the cheese that I got. To buy a boomerang. However, on the 3DS version, I often find myself using the coins from the respawning blue chests that I haven't hit yet. Um, and I'll use those coins because <coughs> at midnight, wherever you live, at midnight, wherever your DS is set to, those blue chests will reset. So, so long as you get them within a day, you can get them the next day. There is no 24-hour cycle. It's just the next day. Ah, you found it. Let's see. Yep, this is the one. This is definitely my tool bag. Thanks. I suppose I'd better give you that reward I promised. Hmm? Hey, you there. That little mouse you've got there is no normal mouse. No, he's not. It's your pet, is it? Right. Here, have this cheese as your reward. It may just be plain old cheese, but that mouse of yours is sure to like it. And I could be wrong, but try giving it some next time you've got yourself into a fight with some monster. You never know what might happen. Anyway, that's enough noise out of me. Thanks again for bringing my bag back. He stops looking at you a bit soon. Um, is it actually going to matter that I leveled up? No. Min max wise, I'm just gonna let the legend stand that you can do calamari with a level one hero. But I'm not gonna do it because by the end of the game, those levels will disappear so quickly. And as much as I'd like to reset for that, I maybe I'll do another playthrough. Maybe I will. I like this game that much. I just haven't been able to get into it because I have FOMO so bad. Um, it's really, it's not even really a joke. I just, I have FOMO. I have a fear of missing out. Um, And finally, actually, and what's funny is I just read online apparently that I'm missing an item still, that there was another DLC item that wasn't included with the action replay code that took me and my mom, me and my mom, like 20 minutes to type in because I tried to type it in by myself and it was like, 
It, it was apparently so bad to listen to that she volunteered to read the numbers while I typed them in. Um, which I don't doubt. I am a pretty bad reader. Especially when it comes to numbers and I'm trying to, like, type them in. So, it probably was pathetic. But... Got them all typed in, and then I read somewhere that somebody was just like, well, this code seems to be missing this item, so what's that all about? And then I looked it up, and I was like, whoa, like, that item is missing. And then the more I read, I was just like, wait, I don't even think this is a DLC item. I'm pretty sure this is just in the game. So, I'm not going to worry about it, because it very easily could just be somebody mistaking two items, because there is something kind of similar. Kind of. But, let's get it. Um. You know what I'm shocked was never a DLC? You know it's a killer DLC item? Putting a key in the game that just unlocks all the chests. That'd be sick. I knew you would return before long. And it seems you have done as Valentina asked. You see, even with a glass ball, the great Kaldarasha's eyes see further than you realize. But you are meddling in matters that do not concern you. And you are wasting your time. You can bring back my crystal ball as many times as you like. I will just throw it away again. What? Don't throw things in the waterfall. It might open up an old wound. What on earth are you talking about? I'm not talking about anything. You're hearing things. You're drunk. Enough. Were you drinking Listen potions? To me. No one knows why I threw away my crystal ball. I do. Even Valentina has no idea. I'm not about to confide in a stranger. Not a stranger. I've known you for four playthroughs. Two. Four attempts. Give it to me! This time I will smash it into a million pieces! So Ooh. you never find its way back to me again! That give it to me line? That's a good one for like a clip for like a... I don't know what you would do that for. Like, I guess a donation. That's a good one. That had pa that had, that had pa for a 3DS game. I don't know if that was ripped from the PS2. That had fucking his hands were in the air for it. That was good. Stop! Please stop, father. I know. I've known for ages. Oh, breaks my heart every time. Could you imagine if she just did the shocked Pikachu face right there? Yes. And I don't blame you for your death. Why not? How can you not blame me, Valentina? How can you not hate me? Because you were just fortune telling. Just doing what you do best. I was too young to remember, but... You were once a truly great fortune teller, weren't you, father? No one knew where my parents had fled to, but to you, it was as clear as day. Oh. I've only ever done all this once, but I guess it really is implied that they fled with her. I think there was a flood? Um, but like the way I, and he might explain it and I'll get a flashback and be an idiot or something. Um, I think they fled, there was a flood, and he only he knew where they had left for. Or maybe we'll find that out later, I can't remember. Might be just making that all up. Um, 
you do visit back here throughout the story, but just kind of as like a... You ask him to know where the next move is, but only if you, like, are returning to the game and you don't remember what the story is. So you don't actually have to come back here. But I think if you come back here at different times, you can, like, get different dialogue and they'll fill you in. But I might be making that all up. Maybe I stole it all from the wiki. It's kind of a toss-up. Or they explain it right here. Um, just because I know it's killing somebody out there. Because it killed me a million times, but I've searched them so much that I don't even look. There is nothing in these ones up here. All their loot is downstairs. So, you are awake at last. It is already past midday. You must have been exhausted. Uh, I'm actually pretty good. I think I'm going to grind all day. Um... I have been motivated to finally do this. My brother helped me get all this set up. Um, originally. And then somebody else helped me get the game recording. And then I got all the DLC stuff. And I lost motivation. And I, I think what he's looking at is my motivation. And it's shockingly bright. Oh. No, yeah, that's that's me too. Uh, oh dang, I was gonna guess. I was gonna guess eight thousand though. I'd have been kind of close. That's not bad. Um, If you want to know something funny, I got one of my 195s to weigh 9,500 grams. So, like, that's how crazy the weight fluctuation can be. I also am just starting to think anything over 180 is just the same as 200. But I have no proof because, again, I need to see those last four centimeters. I might just need to emulate Dark Cloud 2 and cheat. It kind of feels dirty, but... I'm looking at all the fun I'm having right now in Dragon Quest VIII on the 3DS, and uh, I might finally need to do it. Now, will I lose some reputation? Is somebody out there going to be like, man, he cheated. He finally did it. Like, he, he he cheated. Well, but, like, when I finally, like, after I do all the science and stuff like that, three months from now when I finally, if I ever do catch the 200 or something like that, somebody's going to be like, oh, yeah, of course it's after he learned how to cheat he finally gets it. But... What are you going to do? Somebody's always going to be a skeptic. I have a skeptic now. That guy, Elab, uh, e he calls me a cheater all the time. So it's just like, there's always going to be a hater. Um, and I'm already saying it. I haven't done it. So like, I, I don't even think I'd have the pride capable or I don't even know if that's the right way to say it, um, to be able to lie about it. I think I would honestly just, I wouldn't even think about it. I would just be like, hey, if anybody's wondering, this is what a max size fish looks like. I turn my stats up to max to catch it. I wouldn't even bother. What's this? I wouldn't even care. Because um, I would want to catch it myself. As narcissistic as it is, I like have as much, I, I, since I've started recording, I have actually really started to fall in love, not really to say, in like a, again, narcissistic way, but like I don't hear my voice in that shitty way anymore. I finally hear myself in recordings. It's kind of weird, but like I guess I truly just had never heard my own voice enough. 
or maybe I just haven't been talking into nice enough microphones my whole life, but... But I like hearing my, like, genuine reaction when I catch big fish. I think it's fun. I think it'd be cool to hear little kid me reacting to video game stuff, but... It just didn't exist when I was a kid. I do love this part. I'm sorry I talked through it, but him fighting with fucking Geezer. You watch. When I ask what else you could see, I didn't mean on the ball, I mean in the ball. Whatever. But I do have to say, even if I did cheat the fish in, it would kill my motivation to catch the fish legitimately. Unless I could prove that catching the fish was possible. Um, and like not something... Because what I'm genuinely afraid of at this point in my life is that the perfect fish will be shaken off with a single mistake. Meaning if, again, you catch the... Like you hook it, you finally hook the perfect fish. Um, and it just shakes off, man. Like, that's it. Good game. GG's. Uh, so, like, that kind of scares me. You know what? We'll we'll do all this later. Let's go get Angelo and everybody. Let's fucking... Let's boogie. Let's boogie woogie, baby. Uh, let's see how much I can do today. Again, sorry to anybody who's here for Dragon Quest VIII. I don't know if there's anybody here. Um, but this is just kind of a relaxed stream. If anybody's wondering what's happening, I will happily explain it, but we're just kind of relaxing today. This is kind of like a... I don't even know what to call it. I'm having fun today. We're just relaxing. Looks for a guy to see if I could get any of my fish to be Kaji, and it lied to me. Oh, is it like a game FAQ's guide? I wouldn't trust it. Oh! Dang it. Which answer did I say? Did you see he hit it so oh, you made the mistake. That's what I did yesterday when I told you you could get your fish to be a- Or, no. Who did I lie to about that? I lied to somebody about their fish the other day. Oh, that'll happen. Oh, I think I lied to Lo-Fi, because she wanted a Nonki. Who were you trying to get a hold of? Or were you just trying to, you know, follow the guide as you went along? I will say, if you had, and you kind of just, again, lucked into it. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. I don't know if that's insulting. Sorry if that's insulting. Um, but the Kaji is, like, the best fish to breed on for length and stuff like that. Because it has the lowest stats. So you can breed more of them onto your fish. But... It gets to a point where it's just like, I don't know. They, they, they stop you and your stats get too high. I would need to catch a, I guess, 192 centimeter fish is what I came to the conclusion of. It was 192.2. So... If you've ever wondered what my goal is, and you want to, you know, do that for me, it's catching a 192.2 centimeter fish. It's, yeah, it's kind of the best way to go. And man, I wouldn't even be remotely, and I don't, you don't obviously have to, um... But, like, if you, if you used your aquarium, I would, like, I'd be so proud. Like, I think it's a great loading screen. Um, obviously, I like your... Your loading screen cracks me up, though. I will say... Um, I think I said this last time I was in your chat. When you put up your loading screen, your city's trains are, like, on time. One delay in the train system, and I cannot imagine the citizens being happy. But, like, it's just, it's just a loop. I just thought it was funny. Um, 
but I just learned how to do the fish loop the other day on OBS. I actually like, it's not very difficult, but I patted myself on the back. I am tech illiterate. <laughs> Dang it, did it just... I have got to figure that out. I... I don't remember putting censorship on. That, oh, you know what? Maybe that's what I should do. Time for some bangers and mash. Um, maybe I should start a new playthrough and just try to catch the biggest fish possible. And then feed it the electric fish. I wonder what the biggest electric fish looks like. I mean, it, it's got to be up there in the... Oh my god, how big do you think that thing gets? I've never caught a fish that big before. And I, I'm kind of depressed to think about because I pushed last time to get the lure rod. You'd have to be pre-Shingala. Wow. That's interesting. Oh. I might actually have a save file with some, like, 130s in it. You, you would that, or you would have to catch your Kajis in uh, Bonikio. But catching Kajis in Bonikio on the bait rod is, like, maddening. Oh my god, it's awful. It's actually awful. Um, we're gonna hit them with the... We're gonna take out... Mash. He's definitely the healer. Um... What on earth are you two rascals up to now? It's just killing kids. Oh, okay. I want to see what they had for drops. Where are your manners? That's no way to welcome travelers. Ah! I can't believe I just caught two personal bests in the last few days. That's like... And I have you? Oh my gosh, I forgot his name. Don't tell me. Oh, what is his name? I can hear his voice. We were just talking to him yesterday. Why can I not think of his name? Oh, please tell me his name so I can say it now. So I want to shout him out too. I literally, I would not have gone back to play, I wouldn't even have played Sfida, if anything, I would have just fished. Um, oh, Hoshi! Dang it! Oh, Yoshi! Okay, dang it. I thought it was, okay. I'm glad you did say it. Um. Oh, is it? Okay. I was just like, dang it. I was like, no. Um, but if it weren't for you two, I was like, just done. Um, because like every time I joined like a Dark Cloud stream, it just, it felt like, I don't know. The last few that I joined, this is again, this is kind of like, oh, is it nighttime? Oh, that's actually bad. That means I took too long. I, they, I don't think they... Yeah, it's probably the same in the 3DS version, but they won't let me inside the house at night. Or is it... Yeah, so it, we're locked out. Um, the difference is, I have my boots on, so we can afford to stay here. Um... And we're also locked out of all the houses. So I either have to go explore until morning, wait until morning, or we can go stay here. And since I have those shoes on that give me money, we can stay here no problem. It's probably only four gold. Yeah, we can stay. Um, I didn't know they showed you that. 
Interesting. Um, that's probably because I never actually stay at inns. I'm a money hoarder. But yeah, uh, you and Hoshi have been like pivotal in getting me back because Hoshi's over there going for like 120 meter shots in Balance Valley and you're getting some of the craziest trick shots I've ever seen. Again, I, you meant it. You meant for that shot. You didn't mean for the island bounce maybe, but like I watched it. I watched it a lot. I actually, I watched it a bunch of times because I have a shot where I specifically refer, uh, refer to you because I'm copying you, basically. Um, I get a crazy bounce shot that bounces into the water and lands on, like, a big rock, like, island. Um, except mine doesn't go in. I'm not as good. So normally that's your first piece of plain cheese, unless you do the quest. Now, there is a dining room over here, but I don't think there's any items in it. Um, but I've gotten really good at trick shots in the last few days. I just never really... I don't know. I never gave them any credit or justification to use. I just thought they were kind of like dumb like who's gonna do this who's gonna take the time to actually figure out how to do a curve shot in speeda like it's just gonna go in the gutter but it doesn't it doesn't have to all right so let me actually show you some items right now we're gonna sort by type yes so we've got the t-shirt on which i think was 18 so for 39 total, so that doesn't really help you, but we got the Wayfarer's clothes, 7. So like, I probably shouldn't have been able to beat the first boss. Which actually, you know, now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm wondering if the person- yeah. I'm wondering if the person I read about online did all that on this version of the game. kind of crazy to think that they beat the next boss at this level and lower that they managed to yeah it had to be the 3ds version and then this game i had like completely i don't know burnt myself out or told myself i wasn't going to have fun when i played it again but seeing yolo swaggins play it it was just like i yeah i gotta play this game like three people have worked way too hard on this game for it to not get played oh god dude it's, it's i think it just inverted my controls between the character and the fucking munchie is munchie is munchie inverted Munchie, you play inverted? Um. I guess. Is there anything? There's nothing for Munchie to do besides have some fun. Oh, you can get up there and talk to the other mouse. I missed it. That's what I get for rolling everywhere. Um, oh god, okay, hold on. I have to do it. Um, I didn't want to become one, but I guess I truly am becoming a Dark Cloud streamer. I just stream Dark Cloud and Dark Cloud 2, pretty much. And then I take breaks from them. But it's not really a... And I, oh god, I... I'm such a bitter asshole when it comes to this community and stuff like... So, did she read the letter here? No. But she will read it later, right? Okay, that's interesting. Um But I I guess I am the Dark Cloud 2 streamer, the Dark Cloud streamer, because like I don't know. And like I I guess that's me. 
but like it blows me away that like there isn't really anybody who just plays Dark Cloud 2 and Dark Cloud all the time. Um, prove it. I'll prove it. Oh, no. Don't talk to Mash. Mash is weird. Is his hand in his mouth? Get your fucking hand out of your mouth, Mash. Um, but, like, it's, I didn't know that. I, I assumed there was somebody who played Dark Cloud 2 all the time. Um, the gatekeeping I'm attempting to do is gatekeeping the people from the old community. I've met a lot of them, and some of them don't like me. Shouts out to you, E-Lab. I don't know if you're on one of your alts right now, but shouts out to you. I've tried to find them. Um, there's a lot who play it, and then, like, again, I've met you. That echo's, like, scary, almost. I feel like she's in a well. Um, but it's just like, I don't know. There's just like not a lot of people who play Dark Cloud 2 in a way that's like not, and I don't even want to specifically talk trash. I do talk trash to some trophy hunters because I don't like them. Um, but just like in a way that it's just like they have a checklist and then anything not on the checklist is not getting done. It's not a part of the playthrough. Um, it's just kind of weird to me. And like, again, it's not that I hate trophy hunters it's just when i feel like trophy hunters play games they're only playing it for where the trophies and there's nothing wrong with that it just i don't find that enjoyable to watch right. just wait here. No running away now. and again it's not to say that they all do but like again if you showed like a trophy hunter like all the fish stuff they'd just be like okay okay hey. yeah and I feel like Dark Cloud 2 kind of suffers from being popular in that sense of, like, it gets played by a lot of people. But, like, and not, again, in a trophy hunter bad-mouthing way, but, like, it gets trophy huntered. Where, like, people play through it, and then it goes up on the shelf for the rest of its life. I just don't feel like it's a game that gets that, like, this is the game I play every single day. And it will be. Uh, treatment and I think it does but just I, I guess yeah it doesn't have a streamer who does it which is crazy because there was somebody who like for like the last 15 years again made Dark Cloud 2 videos and content and people asked them to stream but they just didn't want to stream to be fair I'd rather people trophy hunt instead of not play it that's a fair point I guess I should be more positive than that. Got it. That way I don't have to destroy your door. Okay. Well, we've got to hurry. To get to the tower, go left. Mash, you stay in town with your rat tail. Although I have a rat tail, technically. Mine's more of like a... What's a super big rat? I don't think capybaras actually have a long tail. Like a muskrat? I got like a muskrat tail. I got a super long one. No, and again, it's not that I'm like... Trashing on... Trophy hunters in particular. It's just like... Nepto Shrine rat tail? Yes. Oh my gosh, I've had purple hair for like 12 hours. Um, and then I went to the pool and swam in chlorine like an idiot middle schooler does. And I had pink hair. And then by the end of the summer, I had like just yellowish hair. Because it had just completely gone. Because I was a dumb kid. 
Snapto Shrine Rat Tail. Oh my gosh. So I do need to hop back. I'm I'm finally realizing that that game's gonna be a lot of fun once I get through it. And I think once I get through it, we already did this building. Once I get through it, I will be able to get through um, Final Fantasy X Unmentally Burdened. I need to get through this game first. Getting through this game will take so much off my like mind. Uh, so nobody's gonna feel better, right? Scaled shield. I was okay. Yeah, our shield's still better. Excellent. I have super dark natural. I yeah, you have dark hair too. Um, so like you have to yeah you have to bleach it so much just to get it to the point where you can put color in. It's just not worth it. It's one of those things that people with, like, naturally platinum blonde hair actually get to experience, like, a, a privilege. Where it's just like, oh my god, dyeing your hair is so easy, I use Kool-Aid. And it's like, you have naturally platinum blonde hair, shut up, Jessica. Like, your hair will literally take color from the sun. Everybody takes color from the sun, you know, it's called bleaching, but... It was the best joke I had at the time. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that a sign that I went to a poor kid school? Did I actually- did I dox somebody? Did I know a kid named Jessica that dyed their hair like that? I might have. That might have been dumb to say. I actually can't tell though, so it doesn't count. It doesn't count because I did it on accident. It's just a generic white girl name. Uh, let's go. Generic white girl name that I absolutely didn't know. Um... Oh damn, I went to a white school. This is an emergency. I'm also playing a game with a character named Jessica, so I don't know. I did know like six Jessicas though, so like there's a chance. Oh yeah, no. Poor kids, uh like anything. Anything that you could like prove wasn't toxic, there were kids dying their hair with. Because then you could just be like, well, you can't be mad. And then your parents would be like, you washed that out. And it would, like, mostly come out. And then the next day at school, you'd be like, yeah, I'm totally going to die it again. Oh, yeah, I can't speak for that part. Oh, my God. I just unburied a bunch of memories. I can remember. Oh, God, this is like, oh. I'm, like, physically sick right now. I can remember girls sucking on their hair in class. God, I am having fucking PTSD right now. That, I don't even know, man. I'm just, like, I'm having, like, flashbacks right now. I can't even think about it. I need to just flee. Um, this might- I should have saved. This might be bad. I should have definitely saved. Takes no damage. Oh, is my defense that high, actually? Okay, never mind. Um, red cabbage water would definitely be safer. Oh my god, man, I am... Whew. Alright, so that's... I'm just gonna... In case anybody wants to see it, this is a dead end. Um, I'm 99% sure it's a dead end. Yeah, with no items. Honestly, if I had to guess, they probably weren't even bleaching their hair, and they were using something like hydrogen peroxide. If I had to guess. Man, I hung out with some strange kids. I was probably one of the weirdest ones, too. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, um, I'm gonna be taking a break here in a little bit anyway to go eat. I take breaks every two hours. Um, I'm kinda locked in today. I'm actually, I'm feeling this game. So, I'll probably be recording all day. Um, but... If at some point, you know, I want to take the dog on a walk or do anything, I will probably just hop off. And then if you're streaming, I'll pop over there. If anybody else is, I'll probably walk, uh, watch them. Um, 
Oh, I mean, I'll re I sometimes I record for 16 hours. It's just how I'm feeling. But lately, I haven't been feeling any of my games just because I've been grinding too much. So it'll be nice to actually play this playthrough because there's no grinding at all. Um, since this is a minimum level playthrough, I don't have to grind at all. And I just, again, I haven't felt like playing this because it was... I, I don't like action replay stuff. I don't like cheating. I like to grind for my stuff. I like to... Okay, so the boss drops it and I gotta farm it? Okay, let's get it. But... Nice. But none of these items are available. So... <laughs> let, let me bitch for a second. I Do I still have it pulled up? So here. Items... Lucky Pendant, Accessory, Defense, 8, a magical medallion that makes it easier to evade enemy attacks. I thought about making a bunch of these, but I was also like, mm, I would rather duplicate other stuff like an ear adornment made of metal that decreases all damage by a quarter. I would rather personally beat a boss knowing that I took the hits at a quarter damage than I beat the boss because I kept re-rolling until he missed enough attacks for me to win. Could you beat him at a lower level? Possibly. Do you have... Uh, yes. So at the start of the game, I duplicated a bunch of items. You have set... Oh, yeah. So, well, technically, each character can hold their own items, and then the bag holds everything. But in storage, this is all separate. Um, so anyways, really cool item, though. A magical medallion that makes it easier to evade enemy attacks. Let's pop over to the Wikipedia. The Lucky Pendant has a defense bonus of plus 8, increases the wearer's evasion rate, and can be equipped by all characters. Right? Are you ready for this? It was available as a special promotion for Japanese players through the convenience store 7-Eleven and was eventually made available for all players between March 16th, 2016 in March 29th, 2016. It was also available for international players for a short time, but after 2018, all DLC items for the 3DS version became unavailable. So, like, these items just straight up don't exist anymore. Unless you have them on a save file, and you saved them, right? And you want to hear something awful? I actually had a save file. Is this the right one, or do I want the other one? I think I want the other one. Or no, was that the... I can't actually remember. We're gonna have to explore. Um, I actually had a save file with some really cool event Pokemon. And then... And, like, I think it was 2016 or 2017. Um, I had a friend who was just, like, down in the dumps, and life was not going well for him. And he wanted to buy a gift for his girlfriend at the time, but he just, he didn't have the money to buy anything, like, extravagant. Oh, damn, this is not a good fight. And he was just like, hey, anybody know any good gifts for $90? And me being a college kid, I was just like, you know what? I'll give you all my Pokemon games and stuff for 90 bucks. Like, I'm never going to play these again. And then... It was several years later, I ended up pathetically buying them back. Alright, so there was nothing up here. Wonderful. For more than I, uh, I sold them for. Still bought them back for a great price, but I think... Unless I'm an absolute, total piece of shit and I just cannot read a room... I think she was mostly fine with selling them back. Because they had broken up. And I don't think she played them anymore. But here's the end of the sad news. Um, I think the last thing I had done was like show off all of my cool Pokemon to somebody. And she had restarted all the games. So none of my super ultra rare Pokemon survived. And the only thing that was in my Pokemon bank was a bunch of non-shiny egg Pokemon. So I'm pretty sure what I had done was just swap a bunch of egg Pokemon for all my super rare ones. And then just move on. 
I thought for a while, like, maybe she transferred all of them to another save file. Um, but honestly, I would be happy to know that. That they still existed. Because, like, I had Steven Shiny Metagross from the release week of Oros, and I had hunted, like, a near-perfect Adamant one so that you could, like, beat the shit out of things with perfect bullet punches. And a bunch of other super rare, like, event Pokemon around that time. But. Sadly, they're all gone. I tried to get Mythical Celebi onto an, uh, Ultra Sun save file, but I just, I didn't play enough Pokemon. I love shiny hunting, but. I mean, you just, you either have to hunt on multiple save files or you just have to dedicate, like, it has to be the only thing you do. Shiny hunting is just so rare that it's just... It's not for me. I love it, but it's just... It's too rare. This game has stuff that I think is too rare. You! You! I knew you'd be back for the jewels! Your family jewels will be mine! Nice! I don't have a switch. Prepare to die! Wait! Oh, okay. Yeah, that's fair. Jessica, it's me. Don't you recognize my voice? I'm on fire. Uh, Stay your that is good luck, though. What'd you get? I wasn't Anybody who you, like, screamed about? Anybody, like, super fun? Not that it's, like, a bummer, but it does. Like, I had a playthrough one time of Crystal where I got a shiny Rattata and a shiny Unknown, and, like, I was still hyped. I named the Rattata Silver Fang after the guy from uh, One Punch Man. And uh, I loved him, but like, a Rattata and an Unknown are kind of as bad as it gets. But it's too late. Especially when the shiny Rattata was caught at night in Sprout Tower when you're trying to go for the 70% Ghastly and you catch the 30% Rattata. Nah, since I dislike using single types, I was pissed. I got Rock Ruff, Lechonk, and Go Go. Go Goat actually doesn't look terrible. I don't remember what shiny Rock Ruff looks like. And Lechonk, I don't know at all, actually. Is Rock Ruff pure rock type? Are they are they all pure rock? Oh, I did not know that. I guess I didn't know it. I thought the I probably assumed the night one was like a dark. Rock dark would be. That's Tyranitar. That's terrible. Yeah. Okay. I guess I would have known if it was the same as Tyranitar. But uh, yeah, I guess I didn't realize it was pure rock. Huh. It's me, Jess. You have to listen to me. As do you. Oh, that's right. Because I've never played those games, but he has the only access to the priority rock type attack i forgot i read about people saying that if that uh was given to rampardos rampardos might actually see usage in games i forgot about that all my homies hate rock rough because he holds the key to rampardos being usable free my boy rampardos Again, Dragon Quest VIII fans, I'm sorry I'm talking through all this, but... I mean, it's technically tutorial. We don't even have the team. The squad ain't here. Although this is the 3DS version, so the squad ain't here till the end of the game, so... Whatever. Look into the statue's eyes. The truth lies within. Hurry! Hurry, Jessica! And? And? That's when I saw him. 
<laughs> I was just actually reading, oh god, two days ago, three days ago, that their fight with Kakashi was completely undermined by Naruto, and it was a great argument. And like, I love the way he arrives, but it is true. When you watch that fight again, I, they deserved it. They deserved everything to the final, like, bit. That's such a good... Oh, that's a great one. Such a pity. Although, does Eno do a whole lot? Does Eno do anything? Yeah, against... Uh, yeah, I should have probably specified. Um, does Eno do anything? God, does she get sidelined? I didn't even think about that. What are you That's a great one, though. I am Doom Nagus, and I was referring to the fragility of human life. The sound effects of Kakazu's um elementals, I love it. Fragility? What do you mean? My my sword. I I can't draw my sword. Now, I don't want to spoil anything, but this part of the story doesn't feel right to me. Am I misunderstanding? I might be missing. I've only played through the game, like, technically twice, so I might be forgetting. And it was, I guess, uh, two years ago, I think, at this point. I should rewatch all of Naruto. It's a fun experience. Especially as I get older, because I kind of see it as like multiple stories. Like up to Gamabunta and Shikaku fight, it's pretty much like an entirely different story. It, it really is like an entirely different story up until that moment. It has been an honor making your acquaintance. God, that's such a good... Oh, even the lead-up, though, is still good. Gara's in, like, his mid-transformation. Things are small-scale. You may rest assured. But Kishimoto said in, like, one of his early interviews that, like, he always wanted to do, like, a Gundam-style, like, anime. And I kind of respect him for, like going through with it and not like writing a second story because sometimes you don't get to write multiple stories and finish them <laughs> sometimes you finish your story and you let your successors take over and it's so bad that you have to come back out of retirement to fix it yeah Um, and now you have seen what the statue saw, but I grew up loosely with anime. Um, it wasn't until my like twenties that I really got into it. Um, but I've always pretty much watched it. However, I think it's kind of fun to look back at everything and kind of compare it. Because, like, you really do have situations where it's like, was it better for the artist to be able to tell multiple stories? Or, like, just one story continuously? Or should they tell different stories? If the memory of my tale can serve you on your quest, it would bring great relief to my soul. My stay here is coming to an end. It's time for us to part. Because it's like, you look at Dragon Ball, and, like, the story hops over so much, like, all over the place, consistency-wise. But, like, it's pretty much the same story. And then you have Naruto, which follows pretty much the same story, but in the same sense of, like, Dragon Ball, where it has, like, 
almost sagas and stuff, like full arcs where it's just like almost different. And then you have Bleach, where like the arcs and stuff are different, but it's the same continuous story. And then you have One Piece, where it's just literally the same continuous story, where it has arcs, but like, yeah, but like, yeah, so it's kind of weird. And then you have the absolute furthest away, where you have Hunter Hunter, where the artist went like, okay, I did Yu Yu Hakusho, but I've got more in me, and then does Hunter Hunter, and it's like, yo, dude, are you using some of the same characters? No. Just tell the same story, my guy. Follow your heart and do yes, but like, there are no, they, they just get dropped. There are no side arcs. It's just, they get dropped. It's still, it's just too bad, man. It's kind of like there's, I don't know. There's a good way to tell a story and we'll figure it out one day. <laughs> um, oh, big stretch. Oh, we're about to hit a good stopping point, too, for my little mini break. I think my goal is to make it to... Trodane Castle and Monster Arena. I want to play through the whole game with Monster Arena. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I'll probably... Try to... Uh, well... Yeah, we're about to hit the two-hour mark. I'll probably call it here in a little bit. At the carriage. Why did I say at? I'm fucking looking at the word. Um, Alright, so yeah, she's crying. Oh, she's weeping silently. That's a cry. Or is weeping silent? Oh, God, dude. Is weeping silently like when you're like... <gasps> like, oh, dude, yeah, that's... Oh, God, just fucking leave her alone. That sucks, dude. When you're, like, not quite dry heaving. Yeah, leave her be. That's fucked, man. That's, like... Besides being in your laundry room or bathroom in just a t-shirt. No pants, no short, no no socks, nothing. Just just the t-shirt. Um, there's, like, no more... Just vulnerable feeling. I guess you could be on the toilet. There's something about, like, having just a t-shirt on that makes you feel more vulnerable. It's true. I've heard other people talk about it, so I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. Like, it's true. Just having a t-shirt on makes you feel more vulnerable than being completely naked. If you're completely naked, it's fucking on, man. Like, you're ready. Like, you're, you're ready. Nothing was supposed to come after you, but, like, it's fucking primal time. But if you just had a t-shirt on, you were probably getting ready for bed... You were wrapping up dishes. You were doing something. But, like, you sure as shit weren't ready for an attack. Oh, goddamn. Alright, so yeah, let's get out of here. Um. And take our... Oh! We'll see. I might be able to make it back to town. I thought I was going to be able to make it to that. Where's that pathway I can jump off of? Oh. I was going to say, get me out of here. I feel like I'm running for almost all my fights. This is kind of crazy. Oh, shoot. It, was it really that far to travel to get here? Okay, is somebody going to put that door back up, by the way? Alright, so I definitely don't think it's faster to run diagonal on the 3DS version. Oh, we can make it. Let's make it back to town. Um, and then I'll take my little mini break. It's not a mini break, it's a full break. I call it a mini break because I'm trying to mentally get over that person who harassed me and told me that I I take more breaks than I stream. That shit, that makes me so mad. That still makes me mad to this day. That person was just nothing but fucking bitter. Like, I get that sometimes that's how people's humors are. Like, there is the 
you know, the fucking, yeah, in the locker room, like, yeah, look at this pussy. Um, but, like, that's, that's not me. I, that's, I, I used to feel that way, but I realized that's toxic culture, and I'm not all about that. Um, all right, so, I, I think I'm gonna put the fish up. I don't know if y'all care, but I think I'm gonna put the fish up. Um, so, uh, YouTube, as always, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Um, or should I just go ahead and get it over with? Let's just go ahead and get it over with. Screw it. Keep watching. Unless you don't care, we're just going to do the story stuff. That way I can just start on the, uh... Oh, he got the pocket cash together to cover it for us. It's literally four gold. But you know what? I appreciate it. How much do I have? Oh yeah, dude, we're stacking. A uh, big difference between the games, though, is that in the PS2 version, you do not heal after you level up. 3DS version, you do. Um, so I'm going to try to be quick again and just, again, knock all this out as fast as possible so that when I come back, we can just take off. Uh, did I get this stuff? I think so. Stuff does not respawn in this game. I thought it did when I first played it, but it does not. It does in the next game. In Dragon Quest IX, oh, dude, stuff respawns in the chests. <sighs> I've gone mad farming stuff in that game. Uh-uh-uh. You didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh. What does he say? Tisk tisk tisk. That's a different voice actor. I'm going to ask you again, Jessica. Or did he not actually talk in the first one? Are you entirely bereft of compassion? Will you not mourn your own brother's death? Not this again! Of course I'm sad. I can't believe I even have to say it. But all you can think of is tradition and family obligation. I'm talking about avenging his murder. Avenging? You will stop this foolishness this instant. You are, you really think I'm- He's a warrior, I don't even want to hear you say it. You will mourn your brother's death like a proper lady. Shut up. Family's way. I don't expect you to believe me, but Alistair spoke to me. He told me to follow my heart. That's why my mind is made up. I don't care if- That's all she needs to hear. She, just oh, well. leave her, Jessica. What? What? Shut the fuck up. Just leave, Jessica. Although, grab your outfit so I don't actually have to go in there and grab it myself. No. Never mind. I'll have to grab it. Alright, so we'll grab her outfit. We should be able to make it in time. And then I'm going to end the episode. Um, just check on the animals. There probably won't be another... I'll... Yes. yes I am. So their dad most likely had blue hair then, right? Come on. Your mission guarding my room is over. Yes, but... <laughs> Oh, that's sad. Well, I'm leaving. So I will say, tad bit of a bummer, um, the 3DS version of this game does in fact nerf Twin Dragon Lash. So, makes it not as good. Still good, st still really good. Not as good. 
Um, now, I'm not actually sure what weapon I should be going after right now. Probably still axes. Um, for Yangus. And then probably still spears for Hero. But I don't really have to decide just yet. I can decide up here in a bit because in this game, you get to hold on to your skill points. Um, however, we have just hit the two-hour mark, so let me just uh, let me just get right up here, and we'll stop right here. And I'm gonna go items. And uh, now we'll do it. YouTube, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. Have a uh, wonderful rest of your whatever time and space you're in. Um, you might not even be in time and space. You might be. Um... Well, I, I wouldn't know. <laughs>